Okay, uh, in this video we will explain this formula. Let's see. Uh, by definition, this is the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the at f of t e to the negative st dt. But using the properties of the exponential function, I can combine these two, and it's the integral from 0 to infinity of f of t e to the negative s minus a t dt. But remember that if we if we define the Laplace transform of f of t to be f of s, then by definition this is just the integral from zero to infinity of of f of t times e to the negative s t dt. If this is the definition, what is f of 40, f of 4? f of 4 would be the integral from 0 to infinity of f of t e to the negative 4 t dt. What would be f of an apple? f of an apple would be the integral from 0 to infinity of f of t e to the negative apple t dt. What would be f of s minus a? f of s minus a would be the integral from 0 to infinity of f of t e to the negative s minus a t dt. And this is exactly what we have here. Then essentially, it just say that this is f of s minus a. Uh, as an application of this formula, uh, we have this two important formulas. We already shown that the Laplace transform of sine of omega t is omega over s squared plus omega squared and the Laplace transform of cosine of omega t is s over s squared plus omega squared. Then as a generalization of this, right? This, the f of, if the f of t is sine of omega t, and this is the f of s, then as an application of this, we have this important formula that says that the Laplace transform of e to the a t sine of omega t is this function evaluated at s minus a. Then it would be omega over s minus a squared plus omega squared. We have this first one. And when we apply it to this one, we get that the Laplace transform of e to the a t cosine of omega t is s minus a over s minus a squared plus omega squared. Let's do some problems that, that applies these two formulas. Let's forget about all of this. And then, what happened if we want to compute the Laplace transform inverse of, let's say, 3 over s minus 2 s squared plus 4? And essentially, we are wondering how can we write this expression as the right-hand side of this, right? We see that this one looks like that. If we start comparing, we can say, okay, a, a is 2, and omega is 2 as well, right? Because omega squared is 4. But here we want to have and 2, and we have a 3, then we can write this as 3 over 2. Remember, I have mentioned that it is very important to rewrite. I'm going to rewrite this expression so that it looks like the right-hand side of that formula. Then we write it like this, s minus 2 squared plus 2 squared. And when we see this, we see that this is three, the Laplace transform of 3 half. Uh, a is 2, it would be e to the 2t sine of 2t. Then the answer here is 3 half 
e to the 2t sine of 2t. Let's do another example. Let's try to make it a little more challenging. Um, let's suppose that we have, that we want to compute the Laplace transform inverse of, let's say, 2s over s plus 3 s square plus plus 9. Let's say we want to do this. Huh? Uh, then we want to write 2s over s plus 3s squared plus 9. We want to write it like a combination of these two expressions. How can we do that? Uh, we realize that a is negative 3, right? And somehow we want to have an s minus a. We want to have this expression on the top, but we don't. Then I'm going to rewrite. I, I'm going to take care of first of the s, then I do 2, and I'm going to write, instead of s, I'm going to write s plus 3. s plus 3, s squared, plus 9. But notice that just because I need it, I cannot do it, right? Because this is, here I'm changing the expression, how do I balance? When I add this 3 here, I am adding 6, then in order to balance, to make it equal, I have to do minus 6. And then now I can write this as 2 times s plus 3 over s plus 3 s squared plus 9 minus 6 times s plus 3 s squared plus 9. Uh, notice that this part already looks like that part. And what number do I need to have here on the top? Notice that my omega is 3 and I have a, I, I, I want to have an, a 3 on top then I can rewrite this 6 as 3 sorry as 2 times 3 now I see that this part is the Laplace transform you see this this part without the 2 is the Laplace transform of e to the negative 3 t cosine of 3t minus 2 e to the negative 3t sine of 3t. That means that the answer for this question is 2 e to the negative 3t times cosine of 3t minus sine of 3t. And that would be the answer for this. Okay, let's try to do a more challenging problem. Let, let's suppose that we want to compute the Laplace transform inverse of something like 4s plus 14 over s squared plus 2s plus 10. Then here, uh, the difficulty is that this denominator doesn't look like this denominator like that. And the key part is completing the squares. Then uh, an important part in these problems is to know how to complete the squares. Then uh, let me complete the squares for that denominator. S squared plus 2S plus 10. It can be written as S squared plus 2S plus 1. This is a perfect square plus 9. And this is just S plus 1 square plus 9. Uh, that means that... We, this expression I can write it like 2s plus 14 over s plus 1 squared plus 9. Huh? But then I want to have an I want to have an s plus 1 here in parentheses instead of just an s. Then I just write it four times. The denominator is going to be the same. s plus 1 squared plus 9. And I write the, instead of s I write s plus 1. But when I do that, I'm changing the expression, and I don't want to change it. How do how am I changing it? By adding 4. Then I do minus 4 plus 14. And then this is just, I can write this as 4 times s plus 1 over s plus 1 s squared plus 9. Plus, and now 14 minus 4 is 10. 10 over 
s plus 1 squared plus 9. Now, let's see, I can just do a final arrangement here. Uh, this part already looks like this, with a 4 in front. And I want to make this part look like that. But what is my omega? My omega, omega squared is 9, that means that omega is 3. And I have a 10 here, and I want to have a 3. How do I fix that? I want to have a 3, then... That 10, instead of writing like this, I can write 10 times 3 divided by 3. And that means that this is, this is the Laplace transform of uh, 4. What is A in this case? S minus A, in this case, is S plus 1. That means that A is negative 1. Then it's E to the negative T, and omega is 3, cosine of 3T plus 10 thirds e to the negative t sine of 3t. That means that the answer here is uh, e to the negative t factor of 4 cosine of 3t plus 10 thirds sine of 3t. Let's do maybe one last, last example. Um, let's see, what can I... Oh, an easy example. Let, let's do something like um, 5 over s plus 2 squared plus 10. This is an... Then, oh, I erase it, but remember that the Laplace transform of e to the at sine of omega t is omega over s minus a squared plus omega squared. But then I, I just need to use this one. What number do I need to have on top so that it can match this? Then I'm going to put the 5 outside. I'm going to write it like this, 1 over s plus 2 squared. What is my omega? If we have omega squared equals 10, that means that omega is the square root of 10 squared. And according to this, we want to have an omega here. Then I want to write it as the square root of 10 here. But how do I balance this? I have to divide by... Uh, I have to divide by the square root of 10. That means that this expression is just the Laplace transform of phi over the square root of 10 times um, e to the negative 2t. Notice that if I have s plus 2 and you compare with f, s minus a, that means that a is negative 2 sine of the square root of 10t. And therefore, if I ask what is the Laplace transform inverse, of 5 over s plus 2 s squared plus 10. The answer is 5 over the square root of 10 e to the negative 2, 10, 2 t times sine of the square root of 10 t. Okay, uh, I think that this is enough for this video. And let's stop here.